I think you got to stick with the program. Um, I look at the quality of a batch. You know, we faced some good pitching in Baltimore. Um, but I thought the, the effort was still there. The mentality was still there. The guys are getting after it. Sometimes you have those series like Milwaukee where you score a lot of runs and get a lot of hits. And then sometimes you don't. But I think ultimately you got to keep your mindset in the same spot, keep working on the right things. And we hope to get right back on track right here in this series. Aaron Judge said after the game yesterday that he feels like he's just missing on pitches that he typically barrels up. When that happens, what adjustments does he need to make? You know what? It's a matter of, of looking at it. I think he's right. I think he knows himself about as good as anybody. And I think there's, it just shows you like it's something small. It shows you that there's just a small adjustment to make as he's moving. A lot of it could just do, could be dealing with timing, getting to the right time on spot. But we're working at it. He's working at it. And, and again, like we're expected to, to change. But the work is there. Have you identified anything via video with Judge? Um, I, I wouldn't say any spe anything specific other than we've looked at some timing things maybe and, and things of that nature, but like nothing that's like groundbreaking or nothing that's there. I think he's close. I know we've talked about that a little bit as the year has gone on, but I truly feel he's close, and I think you know, he's going to get back to where, where, we, where we know him to be. We saw Glaber Torres hit his first home run of the season yesterday. It had been a while. He hit 25 a season ago. Why do you think we haven't seen the power to start the year? You know, again, he started off the year hitting some balls hard and wasn't getting much luck for him. And then I think you start overdoing it a little bit. And I think Glaber fell into that trap of just trying to do too much. I mean, he's a really good player, a really good hitter. And I think sometimes you go out there and you try to overdo it. I think hopefully getting that first home run, you know, in, the, in behind him now, it kind of gives you, lets you take that deep breath and keep moving. So I look for him to hopefully get it going. But, you know, he's a he's a competitor and he's out there trying to help the team. And, and he's wanted to do, the, do that from day one. So hopefully he gets going now. Verdugo's back in the cleanup spot. What do you like about his approach? His energy, um, number one, just his energy as a person. He comes out every day. He keeps it simple. Um, Doogie doesn't make it too complicated. He kind of has an idea of what he wants to do. Keeps it simple and keeps moving from, from that point forward. So I like where he's at. I like the attitude he takes to the at-bat. And his energy and his attitude are infectious. You had mentioned that that Baltimore staff was pretty good. We were facing another pretty good pitching staff in the Detroit Tigers. What are some of the challenges, starting with Reese Olsen tonight? Yeah, it's the big leagues. It's not easy, right? Like, no matter what, you go from one tough staff to another tough staff. But um, you give those guys credit. Uh, Reese Olsen, he's a really good pitcher. You know, he um, he pitches around the zone. Um, he makes pitches when he needs to. I think, like, from our standpoint, we just have to stay within our plan, stick to it, and, and capitalize on the mistakes, capitalize on the pitches that he leaves in the zone for us to hit and not miss those. Because if you miss the pitches that you're supposed to hit, it makes it for tough nights. I imagine you're living and dying with every pitch. How do you stay even keel throughout the course of a baseball season? Well, I wasn't so even keel yesterday, so I guess I have to, you know, work on that the same way. But at the end of the day, we're, we're all competing, right? You're, you're in every about with these guys. I mean, I'm, I'm pulling for them. I know how hard they work. I know what they put into it. And, like, once the game starts, you know, I'm not in the box. They're in the box, right? So you live and die by the pitches, and you live and die with, with everything they do. But that's part of the job. So it's just what you got to do. What had you going yesterday? You know, I, I, we, we, let's just say we disagreed about the strike zone, but it happens, right? Like, that's baseball. And, again, they're out there doing the best they can. I mean, you know, the umpires have a tough job. I mean, they're not going to make everybody happy. So I thought yesterday I disagreed with some of the pitches, but we're on to a new day, so hopefully we get it going, get it going today.